Okay, thanks for checking in. Just trying to get the sound right on this thing. Um, this is for David. Hey, Dave, how are you doing, David? And here's his maquette. Maquette's just a small version of what could be a big one. We've been talking about a big piece of a uh, uh, big sculpture for his one for his place in, on the weekend, and uh, we started talking about this maybe two or th three years ago. And uh, last spring, now we're a year and a quarter later. So Dave's been very patient with me. He uh, he said, "All right, why don't you make him a cat?" And uh, so I started working on it. So the idea is this. The idea is we have this metal endoskeleton, okay? And what I'm going to be doing is what what I have here. What if you look at the if you look at all this stuff? It's hard to see in the light. This is probably a better angle. That this stuff. Th this is fiber optic lighting, and it's been glued strand by strand. My friend Liz helped me with that, which is a painstaking process when I was um, in Wisconsin working, lighting the museum, the Good Trout Museum. Um, my friend Liz helped me with this. I had created this structure and the, my friend Steve helped me make this box that I designed. So you've got fiber optic lighting shooting, going through the steel and into, here we, here's a continuation of that into the control and the power supply uh, that goes to the power supply. So the idea is uh, what hap so, so then what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking these rocks and I'm essentially going to be creating a mini uh, field stone wall. Okay, starting with big rocks and then go gradually, gradually going up smaller and smaller until they're very, you know, very small. And the idea, the idea being, first of all, I've never seen a fieldstone wall, a vertical fieldstone wall. Um, so that's just to kind of defying gravity, but also with no, <clears throat> what do you say, concrete or, um, uh, you know how stones, the, nat the old fieldstone walls, um, they just kind of, they fall naturally. They're just piled there. Um, that's what I'm going for. And but I've, there's a fair amount of con, you know, conceptualization and, uh, and kind of engineering if, if this thing's ever 15 feet tall. So I might have to actually construct it a little bit differently. But um, in this episode, um, you know, I've been trying to figure out how to light the interior. So the idea is you've got this stone wall, and then since there's no, what do you say, concrete or cement, um, filling the holes, you've got the light that will pul be pulsing through, and uh, which will be very dramatic, particularly if it's LED and it changes color and it and dimness and brightness. It would just be just so amazing. Um, so anyway, uh, I think that without further ado, I'll turn the lights off and stop talking. Um, bear with me, Just turning lights off, and then I'm going to, so I've got this, <laughs> I've got this like faux wood controller, which is to me very funny, um, but okay, more than, ever, more than anybody wants to see, but this is the fun part, and my friend Dave hasn't seen this yet, so. Hmm. There we go. Uh, just trying to fiddle with the controls in the dark here. I'm not sure what it looks like on the screen. I'm trying to change the color because it actually does change color. There it is. There's blue. So up here, I was hoping there's there we've got some yellow. That's pretty cool. 
I'm wondering if I'm still trying. There it is. It's okay. So, so that's the control. So this is on um, the rotational color palette, obviously. Um, you know, I was, I, I'm, I was hoping for some more light up here. There's some strings of light, but not as much as I was hoping. Um, and actually, the Macat, the smaller version, is I, I think actually harder now that I've worked with all this uh, like LED um, I think that making sometimes making a miniature is harder which might sound a little odd but this is one of the hardest like te most technically challenging things I've ever tried to figure out and it might doesn't may, it may not look like a lot but there's a, there's a lot behind it um, but I, I it's but this it's really kind of cool to start to see you know you have something in your head and then you start to see what's going on obviously that controller will sit inside this and then the steel will slide over the box to close it right so this one's for David